How do you do, kind folks? Slam back together again. We're back again. Uh. And this week, we're kind of doing a little shorter sesh this time around. Well, I don't know what we're going to call it, but we'll call it something. I'll figure it out later on. But we'll we'll be calling this. Yeah. But uh, we're getting this one short because. We're actually getting ready for SFGE. Southern Fried Gaming Expo 2022 coming at you. And hopefully we'll have some stuff on the main channel. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Cross your fingers and your toes about that and a few other SFGs from the past. Sorry. School, life, you know, whatever. Those are on the back wall, but they will be coming out soon. But anyway. Correct. Well, well, because of our short time frame, we decided to go with something a little bit more shorter to an extent. We're going to be talking yeah. about what? I said yes. What are we discussing? So, something about a, a blue bird. Oh yes, the, the the Twitter bird, if you were, if you will, the the, the the tweet tweets, if you will, the tweet tweets. Yes, Twitter, <laughs> everybody, Twitter. It's been in the news recently, for better, but mostly for worse. Huh. And it's been in the news yep. in the past for mostly for worse. But we, uh, but we. Uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about Twitter today, I guess, you yes. know, whatever. So just on the offhand chance, I haven't used Twitter all that much, but we ha- we have had experiences with Twitter. You've had it far less than I have, even though your account's been <laughs> yeah. there more than I had. it. Yeah. But we'll just get into that later. So. What exactly is Twitter? Son, do you want to take the reins there? I'll try. I'll try. Um, what is Skitz's, what is Skitz's uh, <laughs> like foray into this? And then we'll get into the real foray into this because I've actually done the research. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, widely known social media outlet uh, kind of, from what I recall, came out maybe a little bit after Facebook did uh, before Instagram and it is a slightly different format where you're kind of always shouting out to someone or uh, it's kind of like you're uh, it all to me it seemed like it's more of like a bulletin thing where you're posting <laughs> publicly a bulletin about something like what you how you feel about it or the big thing is retweeting where you're like yo this is something and I feel <laughs> this feeling about it retweet that <laughs> check this out uh, have mm. some. Uh, famous users and i'm sure we'll get to that soon uh and that's kind of my take on it i have an account and have used it like five times Lucky and that's you. it <laughs> you're uh, so nice we'll get into oh. it. but anyway so twitter was actually founded in 2006 like maybe a year after facebook i don't okay. even know facebook i did have that right yeah it's somewhere around there I don't even know when Facebook existed. I think it exists. I think it popped on to the scene in like 2004, 2005, something like that. I don't. Even, I don't even know. And I've seen, I've seen uh, the Social Network, which is a great movie. Oh yeah. And I yep. haven't seen it in a while, and I forgot when Facebook came to being. So there's that. Anyway, though. So Twitter popped onto the scene in 2006, and so basically what it is is 
it's like a it's a people call it a cesspool but it was founded on just having direct involvement with celebrities basically so anyone that you wanted to it was kind of like a It was founded by Jack Dorsey, Noah Glass, Biz Stone, and Evan Williams. And uh-huh. there was a couple of, like, companies that originated with it. Ordeo, Obvious Corporation, then the Twitter Inc., which lasted until 2023. And then X Corp took it over, which was um, founded by Elon Musk and will be I was going to say. Yeah. Yep. We'll, we'll talk about that. And, uh, but yeah, so there's a lot of, so it's a lot of, uh, what is it? Heavy computer talk. So uh-huh. the, name, the name Twitter actually comes from TWTTR. It was a project code name. It, from New York University, where they, mm. or D, like it came from the podcasting company Ordeo. That's funny. And yeah, yeah it, I'm not going to get into the, all the details and all that because we'll be here forever. But yeah. basically, what it is is you take something like it's not supposed to. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like Facebook, yeah. you can write a novel if you want to, right? Oh, Twitter, that's a good point. Facebook, you can write literally a novel. You can l- write anything you want, however long you want. Twitter is very... Twitter is very short. Was it like 120... 120- Eight characters or less or something like that? Back in the day, it was only like, yeah, it was like 100 or something. Like, very short. Yeah. And then they expanded it to like 150. Oh, they did? 50, yeah. I did but, not know that. Oh. And include spa- it includes spaces. D- don't. Well, yeah. That is a character. So, does yeah. not Does not include links, though. So. <laughs> that's, you can, that's funny. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. So. Everything's a link. Ultimate yeah. Twitter post. Yeah, so it kind of popped on the scene because you can give out short statements of what you're thinking about, basically. You yeah. Don't have, you don't have to just, you know, go onto Facebook. Because back in the day, Facebook was only online, like on the computer, right? And this uh, was. Yes. This was, let's see. It, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if you know this or not, but it was this Twitter was actually launched, I believe as an app first i am not sure that's possible i couldn't tell you because it's native clients on ios ipad ios android windows mac os so i don't know but it was easier to use apparently it was easier to use twitter on the app back in 2006 than it was that makes sense than it was to, you know, use yeah. Facebook because, you know, smartphones weren't really on the scene quite yet. I think and the iPhone took, 1 was out. Maybe. And, yeah, yeah, but, that kind of makes sense. But Twitter came along, like, you know, when tw- Twitter, the idea of Twitter came out when, you know, BlackBerry was the biggest ah. phone. And it was like, how can we, so what can we use to, you know, do all that type of stuff? So it solved that problem. It also solved another problem, which is that, you know, in the U.S., we have, um, the U.S., we have, like, one, like, a a carrier, right? And then you go to Canada, you got to have, like, another carrier or something, right? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like a self-service provider. Yeah, so it's kind of like you go to – so 
if you're in the U.S., you're fine. Like you have you you have the phone, you buy the phone at you know in the U.S., you're good. Yeah. But if you go yeah. to another country like Canada, Mexico, whatever then more fees will apply because you're in a different country. Service charges skyrocket, right? Yeah. So imagine what's going on in Europe, right? Europe, right. if you go out, I've learned this from a couple of people at college back in the day, like maybe oh, two, wow. two yeah. years ago. One guy was from Germany uh -oh. and I was in a project with okay. him. And huh. apparently every country in Europe, no matter how small, has its own phone carrier. So whenever yeah. you're outside of that country, it, you know, you're going to, charges are going to apply, right? Yeah. Like if you text or call people from, if you call a person, if you live in France and you call a person in Germany, then charges are going to apply, right? So there needs yeah. to be an app that helps the, ah. with the connection, right? Twitter solved I see that. What you're saying. It, it solved that problem. Okay. Yeah. For the most part. It, I mean, you know, WhatsApp yeah. is another big app that came out that's kind of, you know, it exists. Exists and kind of <laughs> breached the barrier. It. it breached the barrier a lot more. Like, I know a lot more. Like the guy from Germany uses WhatsApp a lot more than Twitter, right? So Ah uh, yes. Yeah, overseas I think WhatsApp is a little bit more popular. Yeah, and that's from Facebook too. So I think this happened before uh, either before Facebook took it over or before WhatsApp existed. I'm not totally sure. Yeah. But yeah, so Twitter was trying to solve a lot of problems. And for the most part it did. And also, it once it started gaining popularity and all that, it became the social media app to kind of talk to your favorite celebrity, basically. Ah. Like you can, like you can direct message any celebrity. More often than not, especially back in the day, they would see yep. it and they would reply to it. More. Yep. More often than not, like if you did that on Instagram, there's little to no chance. Oh, but yeah. if you did that on Twitter, they would more than likely they would do that. Like, like uh, Elon Musk. Let's use him, right? Before he <laughs> bought Twitter, he would reply to people on Twitter all the time. Gordon Ramsay replies to everyone on oh, Twitter. Oh God! And it's, it's awesome. some, of the great, some of the greatest things, right? Like a lot of people would just like cook a meal, take a picture, yeah. and then post it on Twitter, and then ask Gordon Ramsay how did how does this look? It is beef off uh, is beef Wellington or something like that, and he was like, "Looks good." Truck and truck and roll. No, he actually would compliment a lot and then people just started oh. sending him a lot of like actual garbage and he was like this is garbage this is raw yeah then he started saying this is raw and started being kind of funny. but anyway yeah so yeah that's the good side of twitter the bad side of twitter is that there's a lot of spam there's a lot of fake accounts there's a lot yes. of there's a lot of uh a uh, predatory type of stuff going on in the app a lot. Yep. Yep. I mean, it's not isolated to Twitter with that whole phenomenon, but yes, Twitter is by all means no exception to that. No. no. Whole like, conundrum. Let's, let's, let's let's be honest here. There, it's not. Yeah. It's, it's not at all. Like uh, it's not at all. Just like stops at Twitter, like every social media app ever created yeah. has something bad in it. We should stop that, of course. But Twitter's right. not the only one. But Twitter is right. a big one that kind of does that type of stuff. 
Oh yeah, you know? yeah for sure. And it, and uh, yeah. So let's see what else. You can also, you know, draw pictures on it. Like draw mm. pictures, post a picture on it. There's a lot of artistic Twitter stuff. That's kind of why uh, Tumblr kind of Tumblr kind of died because of Twitter. Even mm. though Tumblr's still around, it's not as big as Twitter That's true. is. Yeah. And it, I mean, Twitter's gone through phases, right? Like it expanded yeah. the uh, it expanded the work like character count. I mean, a lot of the hashtag became popular because of Twitter. Yep. Uh, yes, that's a true. lot of a lot of uh, short form words became popular because of Twitter, because yes. of short the shortened you know character whatever. What else? There's oh there was one more thing. Uh, and uh. But yeah, they went through a bunch of different stuff. Like they expanded the character. They expanded the character. Oh wait, I remember now. So there's also a company called Twit Longer that you can. <laughs> that is literally just like a word document that you can attach to your tweets. If you want to expand <laughs> what you oh. want to say, and there's been a lot of YouTuber apologies on Twit Longer. Let's put it. Let's be blunt here that yeah uh i see that's how i know about it because a lot of people have done that anyway though Makes sense. but uh yeah it is the in 2013 it was one of the 10 most visited websites and has been described as the sms of the internet yeah so yeah it's it's pretty big now that it is Let's talk about now that that's basically the history shortened of Twitter. Let's talk about our experiences with Twitter. Now I've done. Now I'm not a huge tweeter, I guess, like a Twitter person. Yeah. I've dabbled a little, you know, not yeah. exuberantly. Because not a lot of people that I know are on Twitter. Yeah, same. Well, actually, I mean, false. some people. I some just people don't are. use it. <laughs> yeah, some people are. They just don't use it because Twitter's kind of a. Twitter's very opinionated too. Like anyone, anyone can go on to a tweet, like saying, "Oh, today's gonna be a great day." Post, and it's anyone who sees that can be like, "Oh no, it's gonna suck." Oh no. The day is terrible. You're terrible. You should die. You know, that type of thing. And you should die. Yeah, it, it's not. Golly gee. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not a great place. Like, there's a lot of. Negativity. Negativity yeah. on Twitter, especially. We're, we're just going to uh, just zoom right over this cabbage patch here, especially yeah. with politics and certain political stuff if happening. you know you know the certain someone used a certain a, some sort of bluebird platform and 2015 it's pretty you know, notorious yes uh let's just say uh, it was a uh, huge with a capital y yeah in 2015 yeah. 2016 something happened we're not gonna say his name or anyone else's names but yeah it's it kind of happened around there that it kind of went even farther downhill. Twitter was bad before, but it got worse since that yeah. whole span of a couple years. But anyway, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, um, Confifi. That's all I have to say on that. Confifi. <laughs> Confifi. But yeah, anyway, yeah, I post some things. You know, I don't really. I whenever whenever I'm on Twitter or used to be on Twitter, I would always retweet stuff that I found. I used, there was a while, like maybe like a month, where I was just sc scrolling through my entire feed. Yeah. 
which we can't do anymore. Well, I'll tell, well, we'll get into that, but scroll through my entire feed and just retweeted everything I saw that I found interesting. Oh. Like, throughout the day. Like, yeah. Like, every day for a month. And I got kind of sick after doing <laughs> that because even the people I followed... And again, yeah. no names. No no one I know, yeah. like, directly, right? But some of the celebrities yeah. I followed. Uh, a, couple, a couple of the celebrities I followed, they just kept on talking about stuff that I was not interested in, like politics. When they course, were yeah. not political, they are an actor. And I don't follow them for the politics. I follow them. Yeah, for the I, mean. I follow them for the acting and what they have to say and all that type of stuff. But apparently, a lot of what they had to say was about politics. So I kind of unfollowed them because I kept on uh, talking about politics for like yeah, a long, so. long time. It went both yeah. ways, both liberal and well, I'm sure it did. Both liberal, oh, yeah, and of course. Liberal. Naturally, but but anyway, yeah, it's uh, yeah. It, as soon as I started doing that, I was like, okay, I, I can't do this anymore. I, I it, it's it's yeah. sick. It's sick. Yeah, I posted some pictures. Yeah, man. Like I, I used to uh, I used to post my Instagram feed onto Twitter as well, but since it's a Facebook company. It worked better posting it to Facebook instead of Twitter because Twitter just had a link to my Instagram post. Awesome. But yeah, it uh, doesn't necessarily work anymore, especially. But son, what, oh, was yeah. your, what was your experience with Twitter? Even though it's very short. I mean, I kind of already said it. Uh, I've followed some select people over the years just for no particular reason uh i don't have any photos on mine uh i've used it to sometimes look at uh random content out of boredom That's that's honestly that's it. I I wish I had more, but I don't. That's that's Twitter for me. Uh, I use other forms of social media than Twitter. <laughs> so I recognize its significance in society, for better or worse. But I don't really use it. There yeah. you go. Yeah, I don't use it either. That's probably why you're so nice, because you didn't go into oh, the cesspool nice. that's Twitter. Yeah. The cesspool. Yeah, it is a cesspool. It, it's so negative all the time. It can be. Yeah. Oh, yes. But anyway, so. Here's why. Where's what, Here's the big reason why I wanted to do this video. Yeah. It's because I wanted to get your inputs on something. Yeah. Yeah. So there's kind of been a how do I put this? Kind of like a vacuum that, that has cool. been kind of erupting because of some events that have happened because of Twitter. Yeah. And it's been because of this. So Elon Musk yeah. For some idiotic reason, decided to buy Twitter. He did, didn't he? Oh, yes. First, he was like, yeah, I'll buy Twitter and make it better. And then they were like, OK, buy Twitter. We accept your bid. And he was like, no, I don't want to do it. And, they, and then the board of Twitter sued him to pay what he did, what he said he would pay for Twitter, and yeah, yeah, after that settlement, he bought Twitter, oh. and then he was stuck with it. That's funny. 
oh, it is because he's an idiot. You know, he decided to do mm. first, like the uh, the first thing he decided to do was, and he's probably I don't know if he's gonna listen to this or not. Probably, mm. probably not. I don't know. Who yep. cares? Elon Musk sucks. I, I'm gonna say it. He's an oh. idiot. Yes, I thought he was an idiot before, and he's an idiot it, right now. Idiot for sure. Yep. He he drives a car on the road that you're traveling on, essentially. If you know what I mean. I don't know what you oh. mean. Slam in the car. This idiot won't. Oh, so yeah. Remainder of it. See, there you go. There you go. There. <laughs> now I you put it. Tesla, which he didn't have. Tesla. Which he didn't create. He just bought and assumed yes. responsibility for everything. That is true. Uh, Elon, idiot. Anyway, so. There's been a lot of shakeup going on at Twitter. The first thing he did, the first stupid idiotic thing he did was fire uh-huh. like 50, like 25 to 50 percent of the entire staff yep. to cut costs, which oh. is stupid because one of his things, one of the reasons he bought Twitter was to like delete all the inactive and spam accounts and deleted keep, keep the peace on Twitter. The, <laughs> it's but like the, the reverse. Yeah. If you fire people, they're not going to be able to do that. Effectively. No. Not and really. People, a lot of good people were fired. And a lot of good people quit because he was essentially making them do like 21 hour shifts a day, basically. That's not even legal. I mean, he was pushing as much as he could. Let's put it that way. As le- as legally as he could. I see. And uh, yeah, what else did he do? So, and oh, next he brought back some of the most... Despite what you say, despite what anyone says, these people were controversial. And they did paint Twitter in a bad light. So on a business standpoint, it doesn't make sense. No one says. But he brought back. Donald Trump, he gave him back his account. Yep. After uh, after he put out like a poll or something, didn't he? He put out a poll saying, hey, you want Donald Trump, Trump's account reinstated? The public has spoken. And then he reinstated Donald Trump's account. He was going to, which, which there was some controversies there because. Obviously, the poll, yeah. Because he was going to do the, he was going to reinstate him, whatever the poll said. So he, and people said to me, he manipulated the poll or whatever. So there's that too. I don't know. Whatever. Andrew Tate. He's back on Twitter. He was. Yeah. Uh, he's for all those who don't know. Andrew Tate is a very misogynistic person who said that basically spouting out dangerous presidents that women should be subjected to the man and all that and whatever, all that type of stuff. Very controversial, very bad. You know, whatever. Despite what anyone yes. says, he was making Twitter look bad. They took accountability for that, but tw- Elon brought him back. He brought back a lot of people that Twitter banned, which is pretty bad. And uh, yeah, so what else did he do? Oh yeah, so he, so he started this subscription called Twitter Blue. Now, Twitter Blue's been available for free for a good long bit. But Elon decided to make Twitter Blue um, 799 a month, a subscription service now, where you got to pay oh. in order to use certain Twitter things in like twitter now 
which hmm. is bizarre. Yeah, like, it is. Like some very like some very necessary things to use the app. Like hmm. uh I don't know. Whatever. Also, he uh it was like all the check marks and all that, that's on Twitter blue now. So you gotta pay seven ninety nine in order to have a blue check mark. Yep. And a lot yep, of people right. a lot of people abuse this by like being like using an account like Bill Gates paying for Twitter Blue and then saying huh. something stupid. Like it's not just that, it's like a all company like a lot of companies and all that type of stuff too, right? Yeah. So Elon shut that down and then reinstated Twitter Blue to have like a whole other thing. A lot of companies have moved away from Twitter, like NPR, a bunch of other companies like that. Oh, or yeah. Wall Street Journal Wall Street Journal, I think. Probably, yeah. Because Elon dissed them and they had to pay money when other companies didn't have to for their check marks. They were like, okay, if they're going to, sp- he's going to spite us like this, bye, you know, whatever. Yeah. Which is stupid. Definitely because, why. Because some companies, like the bigger companies, they don't have to yeah. pay for Twitter Blue. They don't pay, have to pay for their check mark. Also, legacy check marks are apparently still available to the people who already had. That there are check marks, which is bizarre and weird. Like, that why would you even do this? Right? Yeah. But here's yeah. the thing. This is when uh-huh. people had enough. Oh. So, I'm going to really shorten this. But, yes. Elon then came out with this tweet saying that starting tomorrow, like, all people who. So there's like three tiers now for Twitter. If you have Twitter blue, you can scroll for 600 threads. If you are a legacy tweeter or Twitter person, you can scroll through 300 cred, 300 threads or whatever. And, or okay. 300, 300 like tweets or whatever on your feed. And if you're a new person without Twitter Blue, you can scroll through 100 tweets. And it doesn't matter if you click on it. <sighs> if you screw it, you're done for a day. Yeah. 100 tweets a day, which is... Uh, it is so <laughs> stupid. Uh, I'm not so sure about that, folks. Yeah. Even if you have Twitter Blue... You can only scroll 600 tweets a day, which is yeah not good. That, that no. is yeah. There's they he put a limit on tweets. You can't put you can't do that. You you simply can't. Not, no. Instagram doesn't do that. Facebook doesn't do that. What else doesn't do that? Uh, Reddit doesn't do that. So he's basically yeah. destroying Twitter. He is literally destroying Twitter. It's gotten better. Like, it, like after the backlash that he had, like a few hours later, he tweeted, OK, we'll raise it up a little bit. And then after that, he raised it up again. Now it's up to like, I don't know, Twitter blue. You get like 2000 or something or like 10,000 tweets. Uh, If you're a legacy person, it's like 6000. And if you're a, another per Regular person just coming into Twitter, it's like 2K or something. I don't know. It's bizarre. Whatever. But it's just idiotically stupid. And people have had enough of this. So they yeah. decided So they decided to go off to do uh, like alternative Twitters, right? I see. And there's been two that have come on the scene to really challenge Twitter. One of them is Blue Sky, which is basically Twitter in beta form, which you got to be accepted. You have to be accepted in order to, like, 
be involved in it because it's so new. Oh. And I haven't okay. gotten it yet, so I have no idea what the whole thing that's about. I couldn't tell you either. Huh. But then there's the second option, which is more popular, but it's been kind of dead-ish now. Yeah. Which is called Threads, and it's powered Threads. through Facebook. Oh. And you can actually connect it through your Instagram account. And it is literally, I mean, it's literally Twitter, but without all the restrictions that Elon's putting on it now, right? Yeah. A lot of companies are moving over there. Like, uh, um, I know that McDonald's moved over there. Okay. He's moved over there. Yeah. Which is surprising and all that. Kind of interesting. But here's the thing, though. Mark Zuckerberg has been considered by many to be evil. Like, he's the, yeah. he's, he's the evil guy who's taking your information and selling it, basically. There's a whole meme about that. It's well known <laughs> for the industry. And he's yes. considered a good person compared to Elon Musk. That's so ironic, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's how wow. that's the situation we're in these days. <sighs> that's why I wanted to talk about this because I wanted to voice my opinion on it. I had a, a 200% feeling that that was the main point of it after you started talking about it. But yeah. well shared nonetheless. I mean, I I well experience I experienced threads. Threads is actually pretty decent. Sounds I mean, like it, yeah. It's it's got some work to do because they literally like just threw it out there. But for what it is, it's not that bad. Yeah. It still needs improvements, but it Oh yeah, I'm sure. It's basically Twitter, but without yeah. hashtags. There's no hashtags in there. And if you delete your threads page, apparently it deletes your Instagram page as well. So don't if you create a oh. threads page don't delete it otherwise your instagram page will also be deleted you see yeah. little bugs like that needs to be helped but anyway huh. but yeah sun after that long ish kind of dramatic stuff happening since you're more of the technological person uh-huh what is your thoughts <laughs> as it pertains to this news? Well, I think Elon did some very... I don't even know what... I I don't even know if idiotic's the word. Just bizarre changes. It's it's, (laughs) it's stupid business decisions. I I don't even... I, I, I mean, I don't even know if it would be... I don't even see how he would profit from it. I mean, I guess maybe... In the short term, with the paying for the blue check mark and the higher scrolling limit, but in the long run, I feel like he's gonna that's gonna make you lose a lot of your clientele base. And I, I don't know if that's the move. You gotta remember that. I mean, even though Twitter maybe what has never always been the number one social media outlet, period. You know, it's always had a pretty, pretty uh, solid uh, holding of the the market. You know, it's solid customer fan base. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people love Twitter and use it all the time, and some do more than others. And point being, they did that, I'd say, just fine for several years. And it's one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of things. And uh, maybe he tried to fix it and then broke it instead. Yeah, you know? I mean, Twitter was <laughs> Twitter was broken, but it wasn't yeah. as broken as it is now. Exactly. Like, it's go on kiddo, take it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad. I mean, I don't even, if it keeps on going down this route, 
which I don't even know because even though Elon still owns Twitter, yeah. he's bringing on a new CEO, I think, to take over the reins. So he's not directly involved. Okay. But still, but still, he Must has he the good? final say. He still has the final say. Yeah. So it still could be a toss up whether Twitter's dead or not. Yeah, and I agree. Reason why another reason why I wanted to do this is because we're living through history right now. I mean, yeah. Stuff, I I'll try to be brief on this, but oh no. No, I will be brief on this, but it's not just Twitter. It's like every company ever because of the pandemic is kind of going through stuff like this where Disney, Warner Bros, like all these movie companies, all these streaming companies, everything is just they're losing money. They're looking for more money because they lost a lot of money due to the pandemic. And they're struggling and they're looking for every little penny to squeeze out in order to get their trust funds back. Every, yep. Everyone and everything. And that's why everybody and everything is just up in an uproar now. And we're living through history right now. That's just, this is just w- one segment of the huge implication of history that we're living in right now. But you were yep. talk- you were saying there, son. I, oh, I was just, you know, saying... Some companies are hurt more than others by what you're referring to. Yes, yes, indeed. But everyone's felt it to some extent, including, I don't know the extent, but the company I work for, I think, you know, since we do a lot of field service work, I think that probably slowed down a lot from what I've been told. Uh, during that especially like the very like the the core days of the pandemic you know aka my final college days i've been told that it it slowed down a good bit so yeah a lot of people were affected yeah yeah still i just the whole elon twitter Mm, it's it's something it's yeah. something else tell you what yeah. yeah i mean i don't know i mean more people are a lot of people are affected by the pandemic yes but we're feeling it a lot more through the ceos that are trying to squeeze every dollar every yeah. penny out of literally anything that they can do to get the Maybe company so. back online and it's just it's very sad very disheartening yeah i mean i'm all about if you can cut costs and do it in a way that's beneficial more power to you that's the goal but you know you gotta really think about is this always worth the compromise it isn't always the case yes indeed but all right guys well that's it for this episode of D Podcast. It's not kind of a media memory, kind of not, kind, kind of, a, of a, kind of a something that we'll look back on and make it kind of a media memory. It will, it's yeah. Memory. But anyway, though, guys, what do you think of Twitter? Do you think it's going yes. to die soon? What do you think of Threads? Do you think Threads will succeed? I know it's kind of been slowing down in the past couple of weeks but anyway what do you guys think comment yes. let us know subscribe ring that bell more sure. content come your way yes Sun and, say yeah uh i if you're gonna join threads uh don't delete it apparently and uh if you can somehow find my twitter username send me a message because I don't know if anyone actually could. That's the joke. So, hey, good luck. That's all nope. we got for Twitter. Love it or nope. hate it. The no bird spam- is still blue. No spamming skits. Please don't. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not that I see it anyway, but yeah. Don't don't spam skits. Anyway, though, guys, I'm slamming. This is skits. We'll catch you guys on the flippity flop. Floppity flip. <laughs>